have gathered together to celebrate this Mass, we have lit the fourth candle of our Advent season. And the Gospel today, in a very special way, is uh, presenting to us uh, the story of God's plan unfolding. And we hear the part where Joseph is hearing also from the angel. And Joseph, hearing that Mary is to give birth to Emmanuel, who is God is with us, Jesus. And that's who brings us to this church right now. It's him, especially. And our relationship with him, and our relationship that is formed with him in baptism, and in each of the sacraments of the church. And so today, Kendra is going to be baptized. And we also have her daughter, Natalia. Natalia, what did I get? Did I get it? Natalia? Give me points. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia. And then Tony. Where's Tony? Tony, yay. Tony, good to see you. Uh, and they all will receive First Eucharist and Confirmation. So it will be an opportunity for them to meet Jesus Christ as we have in each of those sacraments. And those are very special moments for us. Just as St. Joseph met Jesus as he was born and walked with him, so we are called in the same way to walk with Jesus Christ. And these are moments in which we meet Jesus. And so at this very thought that we just blessed, Kendra will begin her life of faith in Christ as a holy Roman Catholic card-carrying person. <laughs> and so after Mass, if you have any questions about the faith, ask them. <laughs> <laughs> It's the waters of baptism which reminds us that it's, it's about Jesus, and so our relationship with him unfolds in each of our lives. And as we continue to grow as persons, and things happen in our lives, it's Jesus who we meet. Yes, in the good times especially, but also especially in the times that are difficult. In the times when you don't know which way to turn. In the times when we're really struggling. It's about Him. And it's about meeting Him in those moments and letting Him minister to us. Also, as they of the these three, especially this morning, approach the altar, they are approaching the altar to receive the sacrament of confirmation. And so we're going to call down the Holy Spirit of Jesus upon them in a big way. We're also going to ask the Spirit to touch us, too, and be renewed in each and every one of us, that the gifts of the Spirit may come alive in each of us, but especially in these three women who are going to say yes to the Spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and knowledge in counsel and fortitude and piety and in fear of the Lord. That, that moment is the Pentecost. That's our Pentecost together. But it's also their Pentecost today when the Spirit just flows on them. And then to be able to approach the altar and to receive his body and his blood. Jesus giving the gift of himself. Jesus sharing with us in faith his love for us. Giving us himself. And as the minister says, the body of Christ, and we say amen, it's an amen letting Jesus really become not only a part of our bodies, but a part of our minds and our spirits and who we are as people of God. It's renewing us in the love of Christ so that we take that love now from here in this church and to everyone that we meet and share that love with the folks that we meet, inviting them also to come to the sacraments of the church to come to the waters of baptism, to come to the oil of anointing, especially for the anointing of confirmation. And then especially to come to this altar, which symbolizes Jesus Christ. That's why we kiss the altar when we come in. We're kissing Jesus. That's our moment as priests, by the way, to kiss Jesus. It's really a gift. So we come to this altar 
and share in his body and his blood. And he gives us himself, that personally. The Jesus who walked on this earth. The Jesus who died on the cross. The Jesus who rose from the dead. The Jesus who sits at the right hand of God the Father gives us himself. Wow. Wow. If I was down across the street a little ways, by now everyone would have said, Amen! <laughs> so hit me with it. Amen! That's really what it's about. It's an Amen. It's Jesus saying to us, I love you so much that I give you myself. And I open my heart, my sacred heart to you, that you may live in my love forever. That's the promise for Kendra, Natalia, and Tony. And so we pray for you that you may truly receive the Spirit of God and be touched by the waters of baptism in His love and be lifted up with the gifts of the Spirit and that as you receive His body and blood, you may know Him personally in your lives and carry Him personally forever.